Today I'm reviewing the NECA Pizza Monster. Uh, it's a single pack, and I think it's at Target's now. But yeah, it's called Another One Bites the Crust, and I mean, this artwork is, is done so well. It'd be so cool to see if like the same artwork could be used in a cartoon. That would be amazing. But yeah, there's the Pizza Monster. He is scary. Uh, on the back, has the bio and little baby pizza monster, more pizza monsters, and then Shredder, and we're definitely getting a human Baxter figure, so I just love the artwork. It's so, it, it feels like it came straight out of the cartoon, but like obviously I don't think, yeah, this never happened in the cartoon, so super cool stuff. So out of the box, this guy is like freaking massive. He takes up a lot of shelf space. Uh, and if you want to like be a super nerdy Ninja Turtle collector, there's three of these in the episode. I'm pretty sure there's three. So like three of these guys would like, ah, uh, it'd be so cool. To see the turtles like fighting them on the shelf. But yeah, he's he's humongous. He's painted all yellow, but I mean that doesn't take away from the figure, really, in my opinion. Cause like it, it just it's done so well. It's kinda hard to describe. But like you got the cartoon shading that's white and yellow and blacks. Uh it's just so cool. Also, like going the articulation and stuff. His mouth is on this hinge. It's it's like a really simple feature, but like it completely changes the pizza monster's expression. Like that open mouth. Just ah he's cool. So yeah, he has that mouth hinge. He has I think like a ball joint on his head, so it can like twist around his head has so much motion it's really good and then his neck also has that same kind of deal can make him look all around uh his shoulders he's really skinny uh but yeah they they go up they go down the only thing is like don't know if you can see that but the joints are still not like the same color and I got a lot of paint chipping, so yeah, that's that's always fun. Uh, he's got the weird double jointed elbows, but they actually don't look that bad in this situation. And you get his arm up to like there. His hands are on a swivel and peg, so good articulation. Also, his fingernails are painted really well. Uh, he's got even more shading, which is always nice. And he's on a hunch, which makes sense because, like, he never really stands up straight in the cartoon. Uh, but you do get a little bit of rotation, a little bit of backwards movement. And it goes up and down pretty nicely, too, so, yeah. Uh, his legs are also kind of in that hunch position already, like the sculpt here. So you're kind of forced to have them squatting, which is okay, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, he does have ankle rock, but like it's, it feels like you gotta force it or there's like paint stuck there. So I don't, I, I'm not gonna try to break them. But yeah, he's he's just massive and so well done. Like I don't I don't really even have nitpicks. Um the little pizza monster. He looks like he does in the cartoon as well. Uh it's just really fun. I it would be nice if it came with maybe three or even two and they could be like different sculpts, because this was in the April pack. So, yeah. Then he also comes with UFO Pizza. You got pizza. And this is where the 
what is didn't shredder like i think in the episode shredder puts a pepperoni on a pizza it's actually like a pizza monster egg so yeah that's this is where the pizza monsters come from uh which is kind of funny and yeah it, it's cool too because it can open and close the only weird thing is like you can see bits of metal pieces coming out and i'm wondering if that's like because they use i don't know like a metal structure or if this is i don't think this is metal but yeah it's cool uh it's really well painted too uh I don't know where the communicator went, but I know uh, the sculpt is really cool. But yeah, he's just, oh yeah, also he has this giant, like, that's a huge tail. It, and it's bendy wire too. The only thing I'm scared about is like, you can see creases and stuff already. So I hope like, I'm hoping that the sculpt doesn't, break up here and crack over time but yeah this this figure this figure is just massive uh i don't have a nekaturo on hand but here's a here's a playmates figure and like yeah he just his head his hand can literally just grab his head which is awesome so Overall, I, f I think I'd give this figure, like, it it's not accurate to the cartoon because the cartoon drew him, like, really weirdly. But I feel like this is what they should have looked like in the cartoon. Like, this this looks awesome. So I I'd probably, probably give this figure a 9.5 out of 10. Uh, I honestly don't... Apart from, like, maybe a little more paint on this guy, I I think this pack is, like, perfect. So, yeah, that, that's my review. He also poses really well 